Dad, what game are we playing today? Today we are playing Anomia. It's a party game, which uh, has kind of been fun. You know, three to six players, which is great because we've got six players in our family. Hey, that's awesome. Okay, how do you play Anomia? Well, let me show you. It comes with actually two decks, a red deck and a blue deck, and you choose which one you want to play with. You want to play with the red deck? I, guess, I suppose. Okay, Brooke. That's great. So, on the cards you have a symbol and words. So this says reference book, obviously. First name, plumber's tool, shoe, bean, all sorts of different things. Okay? What you're trying to do is come up with words that fit those categories. But the tricky part is in how you do it. So, you'll start off the game like this. On my turn, I will take, you know, I can, you set up a couple draw decks so everybody has room to pull from. I take it over, and I flip this card in front of me. We'll get to wild cards in a minute. That was a bad start. <laughs> all right, where's all these wild cards? Who shuffled this deck? All right, really, we'll get to wild cards in a minute. I'll draw from this pile. Okay, famous address could be a tricky one. All right, well, nothing happens yet, but the next player flips over his card, it's a website. Next person flips over his card. Zoo animal. Now, here's what happens. Now it's a show off because this symbol, this double purple line like a pause symbol, has now popped up in front of him and me. Now I have to come up with a zoo animal before he can come up with a famous address, which I think I'm going to say elephant. So as soon as he flips that card, if I see there's a match in the symbols, I have to call out a category. And if I do, then I take his card and score. Then it goes on to the next person. And so what you're looking for is a match in those symbols. But the tricky part is, yeah, you can come up with a department store, but the tricky part is coming up with the other person's card. I may be sitting knowing someone's got to have a famous address, but again, that zoo animal. Whew, it's just a tricky part. Because the word anomia, according to the rules, and to the designers of the game, is having a problem with recall. So there's a whole bunch of things that, that pop up, let's say, you know, a donut flavor and a frozen food. Those pop up, they have to name it off. The other tricky thing is if the donut flavor comes up on top of another card, say this person gets it, and the department store matches with somebody else, then you got to keep going. So you got to keep your eyes open for matching symbols. Now, let me get back to those wild cards. Now that I've successfully hidden them, when a wild card comes up, it means either, either of these symbols can be a match either. So you'll put that in the middle rather than in front of you. And now, if this green plus sign comes up, anybody that matches a green plus sign, obviously you're going to be a match. But a green plus sign also now matches with this blue number sign, or this blue grid sign. So now if I've got a green plus in front of me, I have to be watching for other green pluses or blue grid signs to pop up. So you got to be thinking pretty quick. Uh, and I'll tell you what, inevitably, I always forget when it's going on. You, you immediately can't recall what you're looking for. When all of a sudden you see frozen food, you're at, 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 and that's how a lot of the game sounds. A lot of screaming and yelling. So it is actually a fun game. You play until this pile or your whole deck is gone uh, and then you're done and everybody's sweating thinking, oh my goodness, I can't believe I couldn't think of a frozen food or a department store when it's on the spot. So it is a, it is a fun game. Uh, it's one thing that I think the problem we've run into, though, is someone that has played the game a number of times with the cards gets used to it. So there's some cards in here that are harder than others to come up with, but if they've played the cards before, then they're going to have already an answer in place, which is going to benefit them more over somebody that is just coming new to the game. So that's a little bit of a drawback, but it's still a fun game. We've still enjoyed it. The other tricky part for younger kids, uh, it's probably not the best match. It's good for uh, older kids, adults. Fun game because not many six-year-olds know the name of a department store, for example. Home Depot. Well, doesn't really qualify as a department store. Case in point. <laughs> it's a store. <laughs> there you go. And we'd call that good in our family. Mm -hmm. So, hey, a store, a store, close enough. Take your card and, and run. Anyway, that's Anomia. Hmm. What would you rate Anomia? I give Anomia a three and a half. Yeah, three and a half, because I do think it's a fun game. Uh, a couple of those little drawbacks we said, but it's a good one to pull out every once in a while and have some fun. Mm, okay, thank you. You bet.